Wendy's going to tackle a tough one. This is a hard one. Parents debating this all the time. Yeah. Our kids are plugged in. So, so are we, we, for that matter. So I mean, we, yeah, what do we do about that? Well, I have parents coming in that are pulling out their hair, and so we're going to go over some things today that I think will help a lot of them. Okay. Okay. And, you know, I'm thinking when I grew up, it was TV. It was There Were Limits. But now it's everything. I mean, it's everything you do. And as we're going through the questions, one of them I have, too, they, they use it so much for school. They're told to. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about entertainment screen times. Oh, that would be separate. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's do it. Okay. First question. What limit does the American Academy of Pediatrics recommend that parents place on children and teens for screen time each day? And that includes all those things we talked about, TV time, computer time, phone time, um, gaming devices. Would it be one hour limit, two hour limit, a three hour limit, or no limit? All right. Okay, I wanted to say A, one hour, because okay. I want to be conservative about it, but I'm thinking maybe it's a little more. I'm saying you guys eight. are right. The limit is okay. two hours. For, so for any Yay. child over age two, we want them to have two hours or less of screen time per day. And the really good thing about this is that one of the studies shows that if you do place a limit, kids watch about three hours less per day than kids who have no limits at all. Three hours less? It a lot. Limits work. Wow. Okay. Okay, next, next question. question. What is the minimum age recommended for social networking? Is it 10? Is it age 11? Is it age 12? Or is it age 13? Where's the 21? <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Okay, this may be wishful thinking, but I don't care. 13, absolutely. Yay. So D. Yeah. yeah. Yes, okay. D. So for sites like Facebook, the recommended age is 13. But there's another study that showed that about 38% of kids between age 9 to 12 are finding their way onto these well, sites. yeah. Now, Facebook, yeah, yeah says you have to be 13, but sincerely, I mean, they're, they're not really policing that. Right, right. And yeah. so we really have to open up discussions and talk to our kids. We have to look at their phones, find out which sites they're on. We have to research those sites. Parents really have to do their homework, and a lot of parents are doing it. So. Wow. Good. Okay. Okay, next question. What percentage of 9 to 16 year olds say they know more about the internet than their parents? 100? <laughs> Would it be 36%, 50%, 65%, or 75%? I'm sure I'm wrong here, but I'm going to see it. Okay, this answer is actually A. Oh. So parents are doing their homework. Huh. We know a lot more <laughs> than we give shocked. ourselves credit yes. for. We need to give ourselves more credit. Yes, we do. <laughs> More snooping, apparently. <laughs> oh, great. It's going to be like, I just can't wait to get home today. <laughs> Mom's looking at everything I do. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, the next question. In a recent study among 11 to 16 year olds upset by seeing online sexual images, mm. how many actually reported the problem online? Was it 5%, 13%, 20%, or 30%? Um, okay. I would think they'd be a little embarrassed, so I'll say low, but how low? Sean, you got it at 13%. Low. So no, that's me. Me. you, Lisa, you got oh, it. Oh, yeah. Lisa, Sean said 5%. It. Okay. So what does that so, tell us, that more than we think, or not very many, or well, what do we take from Well, the thing is, not many kids are saying anything about what they're seeing. So we really have to make sure that we open up those lines of communication and ask them about what they're seeing on the Internet, find out what's going on. We really have to stay connected. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Wow, I, I gave them no credit whatsoever, did I? <laughs> I said, you didn't give five yourself five. any credit. Well, that goes, just being, that goes with You're just being negative today, that's all. I'll say. It's a Monday. <laughs> all right. <laughs> One more. Okay. What percentage of children report that they can get around safety software? So those parental controls. Mm. What percent says that they can get around it? Is it 3%, 33%, 67%, or 93%. Okay. So, B, yes, Sean, you are correct. So, fewer than one in three kids said that they can get around those filter preferences. Oh, I said way higher. So, you're saying it works. It works. Okay. It really does work in many cases. And most of the kids say that they're glad that their parents are doing this. So, parents, find out how to do it if you don't know how to do it and set those limits. Right. Okay. Absolutely. All, all good stuff. And then, you know what, what's so scary, too? The kids go to, they go to sleep with their phones anymore. Oh. You know, you hear them pinging. It's the first thing they look at when they get up in the morning.
there's so many parents who are saying, hey, turn them in at night. Turn them in to me, and then you can have it back in the morning or after you finish your homework the next day. But parents are really taking control. That's a great way. Can you tell us, as a pediatrician, you know, I don't think about this as much. You know, I go for situations like this, pink eye. But you have parents <laughs> talking to you who I want do. to know what the limits are. You know, what are they asking you? Well, I have parents coming in because they're frustrated. Their kids are overdoing it with screen time. Some of the kids are depressed. Some of the kids are not doing right. those things that they really? used to do socially. Oh. So I have a lot of parents who are really, really concerned about this. And they're willing to take action. They feel empowered and they feel like there is something they can do that works. Mm -hmm. They're doing it. Good. Oh, great. Thank you so much. They should take control. Definitely. We do have the scoreboard on oh, my good. Believe we're dead even, I we? think, if I kept it right in my We head. are. Aww. So we're doing something right. Or a lot wrong. Or no. <laughs> doing it wrong equally. 60% cheers. <laughs> no, but thank you. We appreciate all the information. My pleasure. We'll see you Thanks soon. For and coming up next on Good Day Columbus, time running out to enjoy a favorite Central Ohio event. And Dana Turtle is live from the Blues and Butterflies exhibit next.